And what's up, party people? Technicals here, doing a little salad stuff, a little salad housekeeping. Uh, my good friend on Twitter, MindSum10, fellow YouTuber, check him out. Link to his channel in the description below. Uh, he did a video uh, yesterday where he was outlining a post in salad that I seemingly missed a lot of people's radars. Mine, because I'm probably I'm not really cruising the salad subreddit or Discord that much. Anyway, it outlines the new tier system for salad and what based on what GPU you have, how in demand it is based on what salad says uh, their customers want. Some other charts too, you know, uh, total redemptions, how much people are getting paid out. It shows a graph over time. Mine some ten goes into a little bit deeper on it, uh, so check his video out uh, if if you're interested in the further detail on that. But the juiciest of the nuggets I, I sort of found right here, a post from yesterday. Today. I'll put it right here or right here. 91524 demand update. Total redemptions came in at a tepid $5,700 yesterday. The seven day moving average rose to 6,300 today. I don't know what, you know, what they're trying to draw from this, uh, you know, because a lot of people just kind of accumulate their balances over time. I don't, I don't, I don't know if they're really trying to extract much or if you can really read too much into that. I'm not. Uh, but the interesting bit is where they break down. If you have this card, you're going to you're going to have a good week if you have this card i love that kind of thing because and a lot of people in the comments or many times in the comments on my videos people will reply saying i have this card is this good i have this card and i'm getting nothing i have that card and I'm, i have the same card and i'm getting something so they say in this post if you have a 4090 a 4090 it's a toss-up this weekend four out of six of my 4090s are running containers so you probably safe to game if you aren't running one already I guess a lot of people running salad still use that, that those machines as their gaming machines or they're not dedicated salad rigs. It's just kind of an odd concept to me coming from the crypto realm. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have a 3090, check your electricity costs before chopping. Running 3090s on salad can cost more in electricity than what you are currently making. If you have a 4070, that's me. I only have 4070s. I have a 3080 Ti too, but it's really just 4070s that I'm working with here. Slash 4080. There seems to be a strong demand for these cards, so keep chopping. These cards continue to get notifications about high demand. There were another two 4080 and 4070 Ti Super sent on 9.9. If you have 4060 Ti, 16 gigabyte cards, uh, demand for the 4060 Ti, 16 gigabyte seems to have dropped off a bit. We'll see if there continues to be stronger demand for these cards later in the month. Other 3000 series cards, it looks like there is now demand for 3080 slash 3080 Ti cards, but it's probably not enough to work to tip the scales. And again, check out Mind Something's video on, on it, uh, but I did find it interesting, the chart that uh, was in the Discord that he posted in his video uh, with the tier system. So you can kind of just look at that tier system thing, I'll put it right here, uh, where it says like, if you have this card, you're in this tier. So it's like this cast system. <laughs> if you've got this card, then you are one of the un untouchables. Uh, you're barely going to get any work. It's just probably not working, going to work out, go somewhere else. Or if you've got one of these S tier cards, then you're going to get something. But anyone with a S tier, anyone with a 4090 knows that they're going to be in demand. Find something also in his video goes on to compare it to crypto mining, which is something I kind of used to do, but it's never, crypto mining's never really eclipsed salad earnings in the past mm, four months. Uh, so I just am operating on the assumption that salad mining is still more profitable uh, and by a pretty good factor, even with the new pricing system. That's only if you have those good cards that are in demand. If you have a very, very low tier card, uh, then you're going to get goose egg on salad and you might as well go get goose egg on crypto mining or just simply turn off. Because I also see comments from time to time, people in the comments, they, they, they don't like salad, you know, F salad, I'm not making anything. It's like, well, you know, buddy, what what are you going to do? Nothing. I mean, there's nothing else to do. You could mine cryptocurrency and that's on the speculative end, but you know, it, th th there is no profitability there. You're 100% speculative mining. I can understand if it's not a coin that is you know easily traded on an exchange that you can't really get money in and out of very easily, maybe sure mine it. Uh, but otherwise, it's it's really the only game in town. And I think maybe just a lot of people don't like hearing that. Uh, they don't want to think that that is their only option doing some, you know, for whatever it looks like on the surface. I get it what it looks like. It looks like some hooey dooey, you know, nine year old gamer Roblox cash uh, card mining pseudo thing uh on, on your computer and so i get it people don't like that they want to think that they're doing some hardcore hard hitting mining uh but that's just not the, the numbers are not there further to that my salad earnings have been decent uh especially over the past 24 hours i'm back up in the nine dollar range which is pretty good uh on the seven day you know not so much obviously down a little bit on the 30 day eh, it's okay let me turn all my machines on 
see what it's doing here. I can never really extract any actual data on here because it's just up and down and up and down. Uh, you know, and I don't know which machine is which. I haven't gone through and done that. But again, over the 24 hour uh, mark, you know, pretty good. Uh, it's been it's been a good weekend. It's certainly down from the highs it was at. I said nothing on my 5900X 3080 Ti over here on this rig, uh, which is not in my remote desktop. Uh, looks like it's got a buck 64 to a 382 container. So that one's pretty good. Probably accounts for a good share of that nine something dollars that I'm in right now. 7900 rig goose egg 7950 x3d number one goose egg 7950 x3d number two 70 cents to buck 68 8700g goose egg and xeon is on one buck 85 to 411 so it's really just my xeon and this guy over here the 3080 ti oddly enough uh are really the only two that are pulling anything i think i had one more i've already forgotten um <laughs> that uh but yeah three out of three out of seven uh is what i'm currently pulling so i have in demand cards i have 4070s i'm gonna stick to it until it doesn't make sense anymore and then i'll just kind of sit and twiddle my thumbs or put my thumbs somewhere else until something else comes along i'd love to know what you're doing in the comments below uh be sure to like this video because it's a nice thing to do and check out mine some 10 for putting together a much more properly structured and coherent video be sure to subscribe to his channel as well as mine if you're not already. I'm the Technicals. See you next time.